Now, if you've ever done map editing in the past, you know how much of a pain in the ass it could be. You have all kinds of strange issues with like intersecting walls that aren't quite connected and so it creates this this type of map that basically like destroys your entire computer when you try to render it. Uh, you have textures that get out of alignment and all that stuff, they don't match up perfectly. Uh, then we got things like Forge that came along for Halo that made it insanely easy to make maps, just drag and drop items. And here, they're basically employing the same type of map editor, all internal, it's all inside of Portal 2 itself. You just navigate the menus, get in, it launches right here. And then it's just as, it's, it's so simple to use, it's actually, Probably the easiest map editor I've ever seen since Forge because everything is cubicle. I mean, look at it. All I'm doing is just moving cubes one unit at a time, up, down, left, right, replacing them with various items or colors or whatever. It's a very, very simple process here. I'm not necessarily inspired by anything. I just wanted to see if I could get some kind of motion going inside of my simple room map. And uh, I was kind of successful. The idea was to get this thing to basically just dunk itself and then repeatedly dunk itself over and over again by just falling into the it didn't really work out but anyways you see you see how easy it is this was my absolute first time using the map editor I have not touched a map editor since forge sat down with this clicked around just like you saw and then whipped this thing up now if i can make something this amazing in like two and a half minutes then you know there are people out there that are building stuff like this here we have a map that's not actually a puzzle, it's just kind of a demonstration of, of a concept. And here we have a gate, and then we activate the gate, and the other button just deactivates, I'm not going to push it. But notice something when you look at the wall there, watch as I pass over it. It's as if you're looking into the future. It's kind of an interesting concept. All it is, of course, is just a portal that takes you to another room, and you're looking into that other room, but the design itself, it just kind of opens the doors a little bit to, to, to conceptually how you would build maps that would allow this kind of gameplay to, to take place, like story-wise. The other nice thing is they set up these pages just like this, where you could go and get like the map I just showed you, and it looks just like a, a page you would go to buy something on Steam. So it's kind of nice that they've actually integrated everything into Portal 2 and into the website. You can access everything, of course, by the overlay and all of that. You could subscribe to various players or various other players, whether well, players too, I guess, other creators, and get more maps from them whenever they release stuff. You can see that there's like 10,000 plus entries already in here now the reason why there's so many is because there's sites that exist like thinkingwithportals.com and these guys have been making maps for like five years so all that ended up happening was they released this community project and they've already had a billion maps to just throw into the mix well not a billion less than 10,000 but still you get the point now I've gone ahead and played through several maps here, about, I would say, a total of roughly 20 by the time this video is actually released, because I have a whole bunch I just downloaded right now to check out. Uh, and just the ones that I've seen so far have all been very diverse, it's very different. I decided to go through not just the popular stuff like 12 Angry Tests, which is, which is uh, no matter almost no matter how you sort it, it's gonna, like the most popular. And it's a really good map set too, it has a little bit of a story behind it and whatnot. But I went through some of the new ones too. I think this one is one of the ones that was fairly new, definitely within the past couple days. Uh, this one had a, an interesting concept. I have to jump through this portal here to uh, to basically dunk this this my, my cube over over this wall that would normally vaporize the cube if it hits it. So watch. The turn, throw, and win. So stuff like this, you, you don't necessarily see from the creators themselves. Not that they're not creative, of course, but it's just, again, this is what happens whenever you uh, essentially outsource an idea and give people the tools to be able to create based off that idea. So if you have Portal 2, I definitely recommend going in and checking this thing out. Uh, you know, these things are great because, again, they're, they're created by players who They've experienced the game, they have their own background, and they're bringing that into this environment. Uh, you find lots of crazy, crazy stuff on there, as stuff I've already shown you. And of course, there's plenty of other stuff. There's 10,000 maps. I mean, I can't sit here and just do a demonstration of every cool thing I found in every map that's out there. It's just not going to work out. So jump on there, try yourself, or just jump into the stupid map editor and just create some crazy crap yourself. There's, there's virtually no limit to some of the stuff that you could do, with the exception, of course, of multiplayer. Apparently, you can't do co-op maps in the internal editor, but there are ways of doing it outside of that using some coding and whatnot. Uh, very simple script editing. You can go to, again, thinkingwithportals.com and they actually have a couple map packs already there and available for you. So if you have a friend that has Portal 2 and you want to play some custom map packs, they have a map pack and several other individual maps available there. You can go and check it out. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm not going to go ahead and give you guys back to Fred Bob because I'm also to say by now, yes, I'm on vacation. Thank you guys for watching. I will be back in a couple of weeks to cover video games, of course. My name is Mike B, AK Phony. You can follow me at AK Mike B on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks again, guys.
enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs>